gcloud requires several steps to install we're going to install on an ubuntu virtual machine but it installs equally well on any flavor of linux it can be installed on windows as well although the steps are different we're also going to use the instruction page from google so if you do a DuckDuckGo search for installing gcloud it'll be one of the first pages that pops up and once you get to the SDK docs, you'll select your operating system. So we selected Debian Ubuntu here. The first thing we're gonna do is install some of the background software needed like GPG and some of the certificate software. Since the packages can be signed, uh, although not operating system, not all operating systems support checking the signing. So we have the background software installed. Now we're going to go ahead and add the repositories where gcloud is kept to our list of repos with the next command. Assuming that the operating system supports signatures, we're going to use the first command, but if not, then you would use the second command. Debian based operating systems support signatures, so we're going to use the first version. Again, this OS is Ubuntu. So what this command does is it adds the repositories to this file, Google Cloud SDK.list. We can actually take a look at uh, that list here. Go to et Etsy app sources, uh, list ID, and then inside will be the repos that got added. And the one that we're looking for is to Google. And we don't yet have the actual signing key to check this. So we need to get that next. We're going to scroll down to where we import Google's public key. That way we can check the signed packages. And depending on which distribution you use, you'll pick one of these three commands. If you're using Ubuntu, a relatively later version, then use the third version that says Debian 11 plus or Ubuntu 21 plus. If you get an error message that says that you don't have curl because you have the Debian minimal distribution, let's go ahead and install curl now. You sudo apt install curl. And before we go any further, this is the error message that you're looking for is command curl not found. And if you have the full version of Ubuntu, it'll be pre-installed. If you have the minimal version, then you'll just need to take this extra step. So once that gets installed, we'll go ahead and grab the key. And now we have the public key. So finally, we're ready to install the actual software itself. And again, depending on whether you're running inside of a container or just in an operating system, you'll pick one of these two commands. But the first one here is gonna be the command for an, an Ubuntu installation. This is just the normal sudo apt update and apt install commands back to back. So first update will run, it'll get a list of the current packages. And then the second command is actually going to install the latest packages available. And this step can take a while. First of all, uh, downloading the packages shouldn't take too long, but depending on internet speeds, it could take 30 seconds or a minute. Then the packages have to be unzipped or unpacked. And finally, they'll be installed. And the installation uh, process can take two to three minutes. And it may ask you if it can create some temporary files. If so, answer yes when it asks you if it can borrow the space. Once the installation is complete, you can verify that you have gcloud installed by just running the gcloud command. And you should get back the help menu. And gcloud does update frequently. Whenever there is an update available and you run a command in gcloud, it'll tell you that an update's available at that time. Then you can go ahead and get the latest version.